All right, day one. We got a decent Monday. We're gonna have some rain tomorrow, but we'll get what we can done today. Starting this mobile home. That's what we do. Start off with on your mobile home. First thing you're gonna want to do is come up here and take your vent pipes off. That will be reused. That's more than likely a bathroom vent. Another one down there, same thing, be reused, bathroom vent. These will get new. These are pipe vents for your water. All right, for all you do-it-yourselfers out there, DIY, this is what you want to do on your mobile home, okay? You want to take and uh, mark all your rafters. I find the center is literally by poking a hole. I find the center of it. See there? That's what you want to do. And then you want to measure your four foot on your ends. Pop that line across there so you know that your first sheet is a nice straight line of four feet. That gives you your first sheet of plywood. Now you notice we got all our lines popped here. All our lines. Everything across popped. Because when you're screwing these things and you're screwing, you're not nailing. You want to make sure that uh, you're uh, in the center of your rafter because you're screwing into the rafters. You screw into the tin, the screws aren't going to hold. So screw through the rafters. Make sure everything goes into the rafter. It doesn't, you need to either cut it shorter or make sure that it's longer. Whatever you got to do with that plywood as you're installing it, make sure you hit your rafters. Very important. This is one of the mobile homes that um, have the uh, basically every two foot. We've been having no troubles whatsoever. So what I did was came back here and started in just a little bit so I can find a place that breaks pretty close to two foot all the way down through there and I'll fill that in and we'll just keep it moving right across. Step one. Got my guy Spike coming down through here screwing off. Got Billy setting up plywood. Me coming behind him helping him set up that sheet and screwing. He's marking for vent pipes, cutting them out. And what we are doing, screwing off these ends, that's not even finished yet. These get five, five, every chalk line, five, all the way across. We bring our bottom lines, as you see here, to the top of the sheet as we go across, see? So you want to bring that line across, and that keeps you lined up on your roof little trusses, because there are only two by twos under there. Fifty-two. Two by twos. Important that you mark your lines to your pipes carefully. You don't want to have them off in any direction. You can get these pipe boots um, at any mobile home supply repair or repair around your area. Look it up on the internet. Mobile home supplies. You'll find a place. Brand new mushroom caps. That's what they call it. Mushroom cap for a mobile home. That's all you got to tell them. Okay. So we're moving right along on this one. Everything's falling dead on two foot, thank God. Usually it's gonna be 16, two foot, 22, 15, you never do know, so you have to pop your lines. Find all your rafters, most important thing. Got spike going down here, hitting, hitting every one of them. Five screws across, eight screws on our seams. Screws now, important. So we're starting step number two of three. Plywood, insulation board, EPDM rubber. You ain't changed your bit out yet, Billy? Huh? You ain't changed your bit out yet? Yeah. And now as you see, we're just working our way down through here. Um, buttoning up all the seams. When they go together, that will cover both pieces. Them will cover both pieces. The row down the middle there is funny. And you just keep going and going and going until you get all your blackboard down, screwed off. This is the type of washer you'll be using. It's a big old washer. And what happens is that screw goes, let me see if I can do that for you. goes right down in that little washer, big washer, just like that. And these are the special screws you have to use here. They can be uh, various sizes, particular ones I have in here are generally a half inch, to, I mean an inch and a half to three inches. 
Make sure you find all your vent pipes and mark them, cut them, and your little um, P trap pipes there, cutting them. There we go. Looking real good. I love it. Looks good. It's ready for rubber. All right, well here we are at this point now. Everything swept off, cleaned off. This thing is ready for rubber. Our holes are cut, we're set up. Got my guys down here. We got a 20 by 50 <coughs> piece of EPDM rubber, 0.45 is what I'm using on this one. And I've cut five foot of that off so that I can go 14 foot across this trailer with a little overhanging on both sides so I don't cut myself short. Then we got another 10 by 50 over there. So we got a 50 foot on a 70 foot trailer. So we're gonna go 50, and then we got a 20 foot piece here we'll cut out of that. We'll take 20 foot of that five foot piece right there. The other part of it will just get set aside for another job. And then we got 15 by 50 we're gonna roll out first. Then a 10 by 20 and a five by 20 to take care of that other end down there. Covered up. All right, now we got the big old piece of rubber up here. That was a complete workout. Which end are you gonna go with? We're gonna start down here. Now we're just trying to get it laid out flat. All right, yes, sir. <coughs> All right, we got our first piece down. Not glued yet. This thing is getting glued with a uh, white substrate. 100% everywhere. We just gotta fill in that end down there. So we got a solid piece here for 50 feet. We'll have a 10 foot by 17 down here and a 5 foot by 17 over here. That'll give us a splice right down the middle and that one splice right there. So we've got two seams. If you do have seams, um, you have to know that there is a separate type of glue for that. So seam glue is a rubber to rubber. Substrate is substrate, seam glue is seam glue. You got a cleaner for the seams and then you have the glue. Some places sell the tape, double-sided sticky tape. You'll, you'll glue down to one piece and glue down the other piece to it. I personally like the seam glue better. All right, we're starting our step three. Plywood or OSB, either one you do decide to go with. Insulation board, if you choose to use insulation board. Now putting the rubber down with substrate glue. Single-sided bonding adhesive. Nice and milky, nice and milky. Single-sided substrate. Yeah, it's about knock time. We'll have her glued down today. Plywood, insulation board, rubber, glued. Still have to come back, put the turn bar around the outside edge, do our seam down here. We are looking good, real good. All right, I'm gonna make this real quick. Um, pros about doing this thing is, it's uh, plywood, insulation board, rubber. Makes a whole difference, a whole lot of difference between the runt, sun coming down and hitting your metal, heating the inside of the house as opposed to hitting this black rubber and then the insulation board, and then the OSB board. Cons, the roof's black. But that particular con means nothing because you have the extra insulation board and OSB in between the metal. So the sun's hitting the blackboard and then dispersing its heat in the insulation board and then it's hitting the plywood, not very much heat at that point. And then you're, uh, so it's gonna be cooler even though it's black than it was when it was white. That's it. Sweet deal. Fold this over. It'll be stuck down good enough where we won't have to worry about weather pulling it up. And then we'll come back here when we don't have rain. Possibly tomorrow morning. It'll only take me about two hours and we'll finish this thing up. That's where we're at. Thanks for watching another one of Drew's Roofing and Home Repairs. Mobile home roof. Beautiful. Boy, this looks good. I like it a lot. 
Yes. Say one thing, I'll never leak again. I like the way he put his awning over here. Instead of having it hooked to the house, he hooked it to some posts. Because they did have that hooked to the house, which was kind of a little bit shabby. But that's I don't beautiful. I understand that. That's why I was looking at yes. And this is what the outside edge will look like when you're finished. Right there. top when it's finished what a difference love it one of the complete things that I like about it the most is if you're thinking about it check it out come walking look at the way I'm walking around on this mobile home I'm not looking for something to walk on I got something to walk on this stuff is kind of slick when it's wet leaves just kind of blow off it land and blow Wind will blow that thing right off the roof. Finish the job. Looks great. Appreciate the work. Drew's ripping an home repair. Checking out.